There's the targets. Yeah, they've got multiple targets out there. You can kind of see them. That is really cool. That is really cool. All right. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and today we're jumping into F-15E Strike Eagle by DC Designs. We're at RAF Lake and Heath. We're getting everything started up and ready to go. We're going to fly from Lake and Heath up to an area called The Wash to uh, RAF Pole Beach and uh, do some dry runs on the bomb range up there and then uh, come back to Lake and Heath. So it's going to be kind of a, a little test flight for our plane today. Let's go ahead and get this other engine going here as well. And we should be set. Of course, we're using RF Lake and Heath scenery from uh, FlightSim.to. I also got a scenery for RF Whole Beach. It supposedly has the targets and the spotting tower and all that stuff. And then I got the uh, We Love VFR uh, scenery from uh, FlightSim.to that includes all the radio mast and all that stuff. So we got a few new things to look at. Of course, the uh, F-15E by DC Designs has been updated for SU-7. And uh, the great thing about that is the uh, HUD has been collimated, so that's good as well, too. Now that uh, Microsoft has done the F-18, uh, they added in uh, HUD collimation, so that's really good. All right, as soon as this other engine gets fired up, uh, we'll get going. We'll head to the departure end and uh, get out of here. All right, let's get up here. We'll go through the... Uh flight controls and then we'll be good to go from what I can tell watching on YouTube like every uh, departure they come over to this little like uh, ready area and uh, I guess they uh, check the aircraft over go through the flight controls and stuff like that and then uh, then they depart it's weird the taxiways and the ramps and stuff in FS 2020 always feel so sticky like it like they have a lot of rolling resistance to them all right that's good let's go ahead and uh, sit here hop out we'll go through the flight controls All right, I think we're good to go. Let's roll. Uh, that, that was interesting. When the flaps are down, evidently you cannot deploy the speed brake, which is, uh, thought you could. I thought you could because when they land, uh, one of the first things you see them do when uh, wheels touch ground is uh, pop that speed brake. So I don't know what's up with that, but absolutely beautiful day to fly in the UK, right? Like it is gorgeous. Over on the western side of the country, it's pretty nasty. It looks bad like uh, low clouds and uh, rain, but uh, over at Lake and Heath is pretty nice. All right, I think we're lined up good to go. Let's sit here for just a second, get a few things taken care of. All right, let's go. We'll do a burner departure since we got uh, two bags. All right, there we go. Pause the rate, gear up. Flaps up as well. Let's come out of the uh, burners because it's supposed to come out by like uh, 300 knots. Need to stay below a thousand feet up to this point, and then we'll turn towards uh, Black Dyke. There we go. I think we're good. All right, let's go ahead and make a turn because those, uh, I don't know what those buildings are over there. I don't know what those are, but that's what I use as my, uh, my turn point. All right, coming up on Black Dyke Farm right here. Right here, this little bend in this uh, river canal here. I don't know what the name of that is. I'll have to check that out sometime, but uh, 1,500 feet. Three hundred knots, uh, about three hundred twenty. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll start climbing and we'll turn on course and head towards the wash. I really hope this weather is okay over there. We're not going to get very high. It's only about twenty miles away from here. 
And once again, that's the unfortunate part of uh, FS 2020. You know, Sky Vectors tell me that the weather is completely clear on this side of the country. Uh, no clouds whatsoever. And then now we get in FS 2020 and of course we have clouds. So I don't know. It's something we've been uh, battling with for a while with this predictive uh, weather modeling. So for what I can tell, the wash has two different areas of airspace. It has the wash area AIAA, which is zero AGL to 3,500 feet. And then it has uh, something like a restricted area uh, for Whole Beach that's uh, zero to 23,000 feet. So uh, that's the main area we'll kind of be flying around in is uh, Whole Beach. And we are almost there already. The, the cloud base is so low. We may uh, we may have to manipulate it and raise it up just a tad. I I don't know. I don't know. It's it's pretty it's pretty low though. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to hop out and raise the cloud base just a little bit there because it's just down to like fifteen hundred feet. There we go. We did it at uh, a few clouds. So we'll uh, we'll try that out and see what it looks like. All right, now we need to find the targets and stuff out here. There should be some targets and stuff out here. We're in the restricted area. I think this may be it over here, honestly, yeah. That's interesting. We're kind of like on the extreme uh, western edge of the bomb range, so I wasn't expecting that. Like, at least the restricted area. Yeah, okay, there's the ship. There's the targets. Yeah, they've got multiple targets out there. You can kind of see them. That is really cool. That is really cool. All right. Microsoft doesn't like us doing anything with any kind of ordinance and that's really really unfortunate um, you know we should at least be able to do something with practice bombs or something like that you know all right let's circle back around the, the airspace is small but now that I've kind of figured it out a little bit it, it doesn't seem as bad it, it seems kind of doable All right, we'll do a dry run. We'll roll in. Or a dry run here. I think this deal right here closest to us is like where they do the strafing. You can see the towers, the uh, score. I guess those are scoring towers. The cool thing is we've got uh, we've got uh, uh, vortices coming off the wingtips now too. That was added in the uh, latest update. Roller back in. Yeah, now that I've kind of figured out this pattern, we're uh, we're golden as far as uh, the confines of the restricted area. Now, supposedly there's another bomb range across the uh, little bay there. There's another one on the other side. It's a different facility. There you go. There's the towers down there. Yeah, let's come off. All right, let's get ready to roll back in one last time. Then we might do a uh, low altitude orbit and then uh, head back. We'll call it a day. So far, I'm really impressed with the airplane. She flies really, really nice. Very nice. They did. It looks like it did a pretty, uh, a pretty good job as far as the accuracy of this. Like I said, you can see the ships and stuff out there. They use for uh, targets as well. Very nice. Oh, she flies so nice, guys. I really do dig this plane. 
I don't think it's that bad of an airplane. I really don't. All right, we have to be careful doing this or we're going to bust the uh, limits of the restricted area. There you go. That was a nice view of the targets down there. The F-15E is a pig. It's definitely, there's definitely a difference in flying this plane compared to the C model. It's got a lot more, uh, a lot more drag and stuff with the uh, conformal fuel tanks. Very nice. That actually looked like the strafe target back there. I'm kind of wondering if that was. We'll, uh, we'll buzz the towers real quick. I say that's a negative Ghost Rider. We're gonna do it anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Nice area, really nice rendition. Like it's it's not anything uh, you know jaw dropping or anything like that. It's just uh, it's just a simple bomb range. I mean I mean really, and it looks uh, it, it's pretty dang accurate as far as like the placement and stuff. Uh, as for what I can tell, for like Google Earth and uh, pictures and videos and stuff like that, it looks pretty dang uh, it's pretty accurate as far as that. So that's really uh, that's really cool. Cross Black Dyke or uh, Point Charlie at uh, 2,000 feet, and then we'll overfly the field and turn it downwind and descend. All right, that should be Black Dyke straight ahead there. You can kind of see the buildings just kind of at the bottom of the HUD there. Oh, I wish my head, my HUD wasn't so washed out. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. That's Black Dyke. You see a little pond in the uh, the bend in the river. Then Lake and Heath should be just over there, about 11:30, 11 o'clock. Yeah, that should be good, about right here. All right, we'll overfly the field, turn to uh, downwind. There we go. Nice. All right, let's pull power back. All right, we're beaming the numbers. Let's get gear down, full flaps. Oh, it's going to wash out my hood. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I can't see it. Can't see it. That really sucks. At this point, I really, I, yeah, it looks like about 165 knots. Come on, come on, do it, do it. She wants to float. There we go. B break out. Try to arrow break a little bit here. Nice, the arrow braking worked out really good on this. Uh, at times in the past, it's been like really difficult. It's been difficult to arrow brake this plane because even at like low speed, she wants to get back up in the air. And, and so in turn, she kind of like bounces down the runway. But uh, that was really nice. That worked out perfect other than us uh, floating down the runway for a bit. But I attribute that to like having the HUD washed out and not really having a full grasp of exactly what my speed was. But. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. 
If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. As always, love hearing from you guys. Just broke 700 subs the other day. That is amazing. <laughs> it blows my mind. It seems like just yesterday we were uh, we were breaking 600 and now we're already at seven. And uh, I just want to thank you guys uh, from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are just an absolutely amazing uh, community and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And with all that said, we will catch you in the air next time. Peace.